Hello! So today's Friday. I'm just editing on the computer. I'm wearing like one of these curlers that every girl on TikTok has. I tried it for the first time yesterday. It does work so I'm excited to see like how it looks today. I didn't sleep with it in. I can't sleep with something like this in. I just put it in my hair for like an hour. Luke and I are shipping my engagement ring to get it reset. The prongs have moved a little bit because it's um, 18 karat gold and the diamond wiggles just slightly. So obviously I'm like super paranoid about losing my diamond. And from all the research we've done, platinum is the best choice because it's a stronger metal. I know I can get the prongs retightened, but I really just want it set in platinum. I feel like it's just gonna give me some peace of mind. I feel like it'll be just, the diamond will be more secure in that. So it's gonna look pretty much the same. We're doing um, platinum prongs, like the platinum setting, floating setting or whatever. I don't really know about that stuff, but um, floating platinum setting for the diamond, four prongs still keeping that. And then the band, I'm keeping the same look of it, but I'm getting set, getting it set in a different type of gold, a stronger gold. Do you remember if it was 14 or 18? I think it's 14, since 14 is plus gold content, so it's stronger. Okay, so it's 18 right now and the jeweler recommended 14K. We decided to go with Lauren B because we did research and um, they do a lot of really amazing settings at Lauren B. We did an online consult last week and um, she recommended the type of gold that we use and that platinum was the good choice for the actual like holding the diamond because it'll be stronger and less likely to move around um and then there shouldn't be any wiggle or shake and then if you know there's a little bit of wiggling in the future just getting the platinum prongs tightened so yeah that's what we're doing today i've saved some papers and stuff because that's what Catherine from lauren b asked to do like really pad the box put it in a box put a little piece of paper with our name and information she said it's going to take anywhere between three to four weeks and we're actually going to palm Springs rings in about a month we'll be back and it'll look pretty much the same just have platinum prongs yesterday when i had it in my hair for oh it might not even have done it it might not be enough time like i said yesterday i put it in for about an hour hour and a half and i was really happy with it no heat but it like shapes your hair i feel like i did get a really nice loose wave today if you leave it in longer it looks really good or if your hair is like a little bit damp it looks really good too so i ended up going to chipotle i got a rice barbacoa cheese corn pico sour cream burrito this is my favorite hot sauce ever i like this version but i like the the black label as well which i think is just like the regular hot sauce this is the hotter sauce so it's like truffle flavored hot sauce it is literally amazing. I know this is kind of blasphemous because I should be using like some Cholula or some Valentina or something, but I like putting truck on everything. So let's try it. I usually think this tastes good on everything. I'm not vibing on it with the barbacoa, it's like competing. It's not that great. Hi there. Um, it's Monday afternoon. I spent, it's 11.38 right now, but I spent the morning editing TikToks and putting those on my TikTok. So now I am just getting ready to film a YouTube, but I actually really wanted to touch on some skincare products that have like really helped me out. Um, I know most of you know, I've been using Differin for over six months at this point. I want to say I started in January or February, sometime around then. I have nothing but good things to say about this i also do have a tretinoin prescription my skin's so much more reactive to tretinoin um i think that's because i have eczema and when i was consistently using the tretinoin i just noticed especially like um underneath my nose there was like this eczema patch that would not go away like i couldn't get rid of it and then when i you know stopped using the tretinoin it would go away and i would even use like Vaseline as a barrier cream and all of that. I just, I don't know. And it, it just, it was giving me eczema in weird places on my skin. Like I, I generally do get it around the eyes, mouth and nose, but I was getting like patches of eczema on the planes of my face, which is something that's not really something I've experienced otherwise. So I took a step back from tretinoin for the past few months and I started using Adapalene more frequent, or I started not more frequently, but I've been using Adapalene pretty much only. Obviously I wanted to mention 
mention this because I use these pretty regularly, the Dr. Dennis Gross peel pads. I've been using these for years. They're also really great if you travel or whatever because they come in the little sachets. I never have issues with this causing any sort of irritation at all. And I do use the extra strength version. I just think my skin reacts well to them and I don't have issues with those. I love the Ula Henriksen Dutopia 20% acid night treatment, 10% um, AHAs and then 10% PHAs with a lemon enzyme. This is so great for uh, decongesting the skin. So if you have a lot of clogged pores or just like visible texture, I've used this before, not every time, so not to mislead you, but I have used this before and the next day saw a difference in my texture getting better. So that's not an every use experience with me, but it has done some really great magical things to my skin. I, I really, I, I love this stuff. I'll always repurchase it. And then the other one that I really like, which is a lot more gentle and really helped with my hyperpigmentation specifically was the one from Osea. I think this made such a big difference. This is a repurchase. I worked with the brand a few months ago and I mean like they don't know I'm even talking about it, but I've repurchase it with my own money because I really do like this and it's also nice and gentle. Now I also just started using this and I'm thinking I'm seeing some really good results specifically with the um, darker hyperpigmentation that I had like up here. I had one spot right here which was really dark and it was not fading. So I tried this. It's from Faded and Faded Topicals and it's the Brightening and Clearing Serum. So it's this little pink one. This one has transamic acid and kojic acid both of which are really great for fading post acne hyperpigmentation or just hyperpigmentation in general. I've, I've noticed a little bit of sensitivity when using this. So I try to, instead of put it all over my face, res reserve it for like those really dark post acne hyperpigmentation spots that are a little bit extra pesky that aren't going away quite as quickly. Now, another thing that's made a really big difference for me has been the Clean Skin Club towels. These are individual towels. These are the XL ones. So I actually cut them into fours because you could see there's little indentations on the towel. So I use a clean towel every single time I dry my face and I've noticed such a big difference in just the uh, new breakouts coming. Like I don't really have quite as many um, and I think that these are really nice too if you are traveling and you don't, you know, you're staying at somebody else's house or a hotel or something. Um, it's just nice to have clean towels. So I keep these under my sink. I use them every single day. I've gotten significantly less new breakouts once I started using these. I also forgot to show you, super exciting, I got a Dutch oven on sale from Macy's. So it's not, you know, Le Creuset, blah, blah, blah. I, even though I really wanted that one, I was like, I don't really want to spend that much money on a Dutch oven right now. So this is the Martha Stewart six quart. It's still really nice, really heavy. Um, and I just thought that this looked really nice. I like the little gold hardware. I think that's cute. Um, and I just thought this would be nice for like making soups and stuff this fall. I don't know, I just, I like love white pots and pans. So I'm excited about my Dutch oven. <laughs> so I just filmed a YouTube video. I'm really hungry right now. So I think I, I like, could either make the Emily Mariko salmon rice, which sounds really good right now. And I did get a new kimchi that I'm very excited about. In general, this is like my favorite. It's the mother-in-law's Napa kimchi. This one is so good. Like the champagne of kimchis. It smells amazing too. Um, and then I don't like this one as much. This is the mother-in-law's spicy everyday kimchi. It's the one that comes in like a different thing. I actually bought two of them because I thought I was going to like it. It just, this one, the smell, I don't, I just doesn't, I can't get down with this one. I don't know what it is about this one that I really don't like, but this one is not my favorite. So this I bought, like I said, I bought two. The other one I was just like adding to soup and then it tasted better, but I like, I don't enjoy the texture of this one quite as much. Um, and then the other one is the Sunja's medium spicy kimchi. This one's really good too. And the thing that I really like about this one is that it has tiny little crunchy pieces of cabbage. Like you can see, they're all bite sized, ready to go. And flavor's good, nice and bright. Um, when I eat it though, I put salt on it, but I definitely would like, I'll definitely buy this one again. It's really good. But like, I really like how this one's more kind of like almost like a sauerkraut type texture for, uh, of a kimchi. So you can see it's like nice and stringy. Amazing. So good. I could literally just like snack on this. And I like how it's already cut up. The salmon rice is also like a really nice, easy lunch because it's 
like quick to cook. So I just use sriracha and then like a Trader Joe's mayo, which I can't find. I think I might even, <gasps> if I don't have any mayo, that means I can't make it. Oh my gosh, no. Okay, I have mayo. Then in your bowl, you have your little um, salmon filet, brown rice. And then basically just as much sriracha and soy to your taste. I don't like a ton of mayo. I'm I'm weird about mayo. I don't really like it. Um, I I only use mayo for stuff like this, but I'm not like a mayo fiend. It, but honestly, mayo kind of freaks me out. I don't want to know that there's mayo in it, but I've tried making it without mayo. It doesn't taste the same. You need like that little bit of tang. And it's so good. If you have like green onion or like cilantro. But this stuff seriously makes it so good. Plain, I'm gonna dump this on there. These are the Trader Joe's teriyaki seaweed papers. I really like doing the teriyaki flavor because it just gives you like such a good mix of flavors because then you have like the greens in the sushi rice and then you have the teriyaki flavor on the paper. See, so look how cute these little kimchi bites are. It's also like such a nice light lunch. Not too heavy. Oh my gosh. It's one of the biggest pieces I've seen in that jar. So if any of you have ever been to First Watch, they have such good iced coffee. TikTok led me to it so now i know how to make it and it's honestly not even like a real iced coffee but it's so good so just a bunch of ice a little bit of milk this is two percent i do i've tried it with my oatly it doesn't taste the same a little bit of milk this is the syrup that is like the iced coffee syrup that they use it's the moan and sweetened iced coffee it does have caffeine in it, but um, if I like choose to use this during the morning or something, I'll do this with a shot of espresso. You just do like a little drizzle on there. Cause you know, the first watch iced coffee is like actually just kind of like coffee milk. It just has like this really nice light color. And it tastes, it, I mean, it is the first watch iced coffee. So like it's pretty, pretty big deal. Luke just took me to my tattoo removal appointment and I think this is actually going to be the last session that I have to do. I have a checkup in about a little bit, I think two months I have a checkup, but judging by the way that it looks, I think it will totally be the last session. So I learned a lesson. I loved my tattoo but I only would get single needle tattoos from now on because I think I just didn't like how, I ended up just not liking how thick it started to become when it was like bleeding into itself and all of that. So we're on the way to go get, I think we're probably gonna get lunch and then go to Hobby Lobby. I wanna get some stuff for filming backdrops. My side's actually not hurting that bad. Tattoo removal is actually not as bad. One, okay, I shouldn't, that's kind of, misinformation tattoo removal is only bad the first few sessions the first few sessions are like super intense it's really painful but then the more your tattoo starts fading the more bearable it becomes this last session i didn't feel like it was that bad so fingers crossed that it's the last one i have to get though this is what we always get it's the um southwest chicken salad they look like this they're amazing it has like a little spicy filet on it and then they usually put like spicy peppers on it too which is so good it's good one of my favorite lunches so today i got a grande ice latte extra shot soy milk Okay, so this is what my tattoo is looking like. All of this darker area is the part that's gonna heal and then it comes off, obviously. And then the bruising is just from lidocaine injections. So that's just from um, getting the lidocaine all around the area. And yeah, it's looking really good. I'm actually really excited because it's pretty much almost 
all the way gone. I'm gonna do a um, empties video soon and I've started setting things aside. One of the things I recently finished was the Kerastase 8 Hour Magic Night Serum. This is probably my third bottle of this. I love it and I kind of stopped using it for a while and I started using it again recently. I don't know why I ever stopped using it. So this one and then I also have this one which I've been using and it's already about halfway used up more random beauty product stuff so i tested this out today and i wore it as my main base product it's the dr jar bb beauty balm i have two shades i have light medium medium and medium tan that's the shade that's light medium medium um light medium medium is the shade that i wore today medium tan is probably the one that i'd wear when i have like a little bit more color to my skin but i also feel like this leaves you really new really nice and dewy and shiny but in a good way like a little bit of that spf glow but not over the top um this one is a multitasker with niacinamide hydrates conceals protects i actually really enjoyed this okay so i just filmed a huge in-depth cream bronzer youtube video so i'm gonna i always set whatever i'm doing um for b-roll aside i got a few packages so i figured let's open them together it is so hot today i have the shades down so I got this um, jewelry case holder. Like I have, I still have the engagement ring box that Luke got me, but I liked how this has multiple ring slots so that when I take my engagement ring off when we're traveling, like it will go directly into this box. And then I can also bring a couple other rings. It has little um, necklace hooks and then a little necklace component. And then I guess these can be like braces bracelets um earrings whatever it may be i also did get another bottle of one of my favorite like quick cleaning makeup brushes makeup quick cleaning make quick quick cleaning makeup brush cleaners oh my gosh i don't know why i couldn't put that into words but this is um <clears throat> excuse me this is cinema secrets <laughs> and cinema secrets has my favorite like brush cleaning stuff. I also use the solid clean cleanser too to do like a deep clean. Mm, this one smells good. It was like lemon. Um, and then I also did get another bottle of the Lux Unfiltered body lotion. I like the way it smells. I love Lululemon Align. It's my favorite like they have the whole Align shop and then I love the Align leggings. So I did get a couple Align bras. I have one and I wear it almost every time. Like I'm washing it way too much because it's my favorite sports bra right now. And I think that these are super comfortable. I also just like the way that they don't give me any rashes. I've actually been like noticing if my sports bra causes too much friction, I'll get like not dermatitis or not eczema, but I just have like really sensitive body skin in general. And so I do like how these don't have any like hard or scratchy bits on them. And then I also did get, it's more of like a skin tone shade and I got matching leggings with that one too because I thought that'd be a cute set. So, so yeah, a cute little set. And then I have this one right here. It was so heavy. I have no idea what this is. I don't know what this could be. I think it's, it's definitely got glass because it says fragile. So let me see. I didn't see of South Australia. Oh my gosh, I have to get this on. Hard to open. <laughs> this is like so exciting to me. I've never gotten a wine shipment. Thank you, Hidden Sea. And then I got a box from Redken. I just bought some Redken shampoo. I, like that would just be my luck, right? Like I, I'd buy it and then I'd get it. Um, this is not shampoo. This is a new. Dry texture spray. Lightweight dry texturizing spray provides instant undone texture and volume with absorbing oil starches. No buildup, no crunch, no powdery residue. Three little spouts. Crazy. I'm excited to try this. Hey. Hey, you stinker, can you wave? I gave Ali a haircut because her hairstylist was always booked up and her hair was getting super long. So we cut it. Do you like it? 
I love the bangs. They actually turned out way better than I anticipated. So I have been editing all day. I'm still working on that bronzer video, but it's just about done. So I'm hoping I can get it done within the next few hours and then I'll either have it live tonight or tomorrow. I guess it just depends on what time I finish it up. And Luke went and picked us up pho for lunch. So I am so excited. Lucas gets chicken. I get beef. Oh. I was like, yeah, I've been grinding it. Um, so I get beef and then I like cook the beef ones. Chicken. And they give you so many. Oh, oh no sprouts today. today. What's better? Well, we just got an email about my ring. Oh, beautiful. That looks so good. I like the new setting too. Okay, it came. Okay, I'm so excited. Okay. Second box. Whoa, it's a UPS box inside a FedEx box. Okay, here it is. A little box. Okay, so there's the new setting. There's the old setting. And then here is the new ring. The platinum prongs and then just a gold band. Yeah, you can't really even tell that the platinum's like a different color than the gold really. Uh-uh. I think it looks so pretty. It doesn't even fit your pinky. So I think I'm actually gonna end this vlog here because folks, I didn't have my ring back. So yeah, I'll have links, everything in the description box to any of like the skincare products or stuff that I mentioned. I'll put that info um, down below. And I will see you in my next one. Thank you so much for watching this one. Bye.